Hi, madam. My name is Paisra Murugare. This is my assignment two for my parasitology tree, which is entomology collection. For the introduction is, entomology is the study of insect or group of animals that belongs to the anthropod have three parts of parasexual, which is head, thorax, and abdomen. Three pairs of joint legs, compound eyes, and a pair of antennae. People gather insects for visit examine the information about insects while others utilize the specimen to describe new species. Objective of this assignment is systematically gather, preserve, maintain representative sample of insect specimen. As we go for the materials, I use storage boxes, pins, spreading box, light, preservation chemicals, multiple vials, various sizes, plastic bags, and various containers. As you move to the methods, in order to get a specific source of insects that are really present, specific substrates of plants, active collecting includes looking for insects in the environment. Use traps or baits is required for passive collection, which is less selective in the insects in cuts. Firstly, I got flashfly. Flashfly is scientifically known as a family of sarcodi, is a type of fly that belongs to the order of Diptera. They are called as flesh fly because some species of the family are known as lay their legs in decaying flesh or carrion, including bodies to the dead animals or even human. As we go for the kingdom is anim Animalia, Philum is anthropod, class is insecta, order is Diptera, and family is Sacrophyta. Flesh fly life cycle is egg, larva, pupa, adult. As we go for the medical importance, it can be in two, which is mechanical disease transmission. Flesh flies can carry pathogenesis on their bodies or their digestive system. When they came into contact with human or animal ones, they can mechanically transport those pathogens to the humans. Second is wound infection. Flesh flies are attracted to the wounds, so their presence around wounds can increase the risk of infestation. Second is brown hole. Brown hole is scientifically known as ashenal grants, is a specific dragonfly belonging to the family of Ashina. It is a large and robust dragonfly. As it goes to the kingdom is Anemia, Philum is anthropod, class Insecta, Oger Ordinata, Sabata Anisoptera, family is Ashina, genus Ashina, species is Brandis. As for go to the life cycle of the brown hawker is eggs, nymphs, nymphs growth, emergence, general stage, adult life lifespan, and reputation. For the medical importance, the brown hawker dragonfly, Asian or granite, does not have any significant medical importance or implication for the human health. As we move to the next one, I got white marked toysac mold, which is scientifically known as Argialus costigma. It's a species of the mold belonging to the family Rivetae. The habitat the most inhabit a variety of forested area, including deciduous forests, woodlands, and parks. For the kingdom, Animalia, Philum, Anthropod, class Insecta, order Lephodoptera, family Arabic, subfamily is Limentrin genus, or yeah, species is Neoplastigma. The life cycle of the white tosac mode is egg, larva, pupa, and adult. For the medical importance, the white mark or gallicus does not have any significant medical importance. Next is grasshopper. Grasshopper are the group of the insect belonging to the order Optera and suborder Calvin. They are all well known for their ability to jump in long distance using their strong hind legs. The kingdom is Anemia, Philum is Anthropod, class is Insecta, or is Ultraped, and suborder is Calvin. Life cycle of the grasshopper undergo incomplete metaphorosis consisting of three stages, which is egg, nymph, and dog. Female deposits eggs in the soil during the fall or winter, and they hatch in the spring. The nymphs resemble miniature adults by lack wings. They go through several molds, growing larger with the molds until they reach final adult form. For the medical importance, grasshopper are herbivores. Insects that primarily feed on plants, materials such as leaf and grasses, while they may occasionally come into contact with humans, they do not bite or sting. Next, we move to the green bottle fly. The green bottle fly, scientifically known as Lucilia cerquita, is a species of 
blue fly belonging to the family Califordia. It is commonly found in many regions around the world. The kingdom is Animalia and phylum is Anthropod classes. Insecta order is Diptera and family is Gavin. And yeah, genus and Lucilia species, Sericata. The life cycle of the green bottle fly is mainly a southern breed egg, larva, which is maggot, pupa, and adult. The female fly lays her eggs on neodicombing organic matter. They hatch small white maggot, decaying material. The maggots through several larval stages before pupating. After pupal stage, they will go to the adult flies image. Medical importance, um, it will give us the med uh, maggot therapy, which is green bottle fly larvae, commonly referred to as maggots, have used to medical treatment known as a maggot therapy or larval chipper. Uh, the larvae are applied to wounds to help clean the deriper and encounter or infected tissue. They consume the dead tissue while secreting enzymes that aim in wound healing. Next is red important fire ant. The red important fire ant, known as Solenopsis invicta, is an Indemnis ant species native in South America. It's been introduced to various parts of the world, including the United States, um, Australia, and Asia. The habitat is red important ants, adaptable and can thrive in a wide range of habitats, including urban areas. Kingdom is Anemalia, Pelum is Anthropod, class is Insecta, order is Hymenoptera, family is Formicide, genus is Celebnotis, species in Victor. The life cycle of the red immortal fire ant is egg, larva, pupil, adult, and reproductive For the medical importance, there's only one thing which is stink when treated or disabled, imported by fire ants can inflict painful sting on humans and animals. They have a strangle and inject venom, which can cause immediate and instant pain. The sting site may develop a raised grape bump that eventually form a blister. Next is crane fly. Crane fly are insects belonging to the family, typically within the order Diptera. They are commonly known as the daddy long legs or mosquito hawks. Due to their long legs, slender legs, and Fragile appearance, green flies have the distinct appearance with long legs. Habitat is crane flies are found in variety of habitats, including wetland. The kingdom is Anomalia Philemis anthropod, class is Insecta, Diptera, and Titulite. Life cycle of the crane fly is undergo a complete metamorphosis, which includes four stages, four stages, egg, larva, and also known as leather jacket pupa. And adult. The adults are short lived and primarily focus on reproduction, while the love life, soil, or water and feed on organ matter. In terms of human health, brain fly are generally considered uh, benign and do not require any specific medical attention or precautions. Next, we move to zebra spider. It's known as a Saltocos skinny curse. It's a species of jumping spider known as a uh, distinct black and white striped pattern. Appearance is zebra jumping. As their name suggests, zebra jumping are known for their exceptional jumping ability. The kingdom is Animalia, Fulham is Anthropod, class is Ashenite. Order is Arane, family is Southside, genus is Southpurs, species is Kinnikers. So the life cycle of the spider is egg stage. Spiderling stage, jubilee stage, adult stage, and mating stage. Zebra jumping are primarily insectivators, preying on small acres and other anthropods. They do not bite humans unless provoked or stricken. Black carpenter ant. The black carpenter ant is a large size of dark coloration appearance, which is in black color. They have a shiny black and dark brown coloration and their bodies are segmented with distinct ways. The workers have powerful jaws that they use to excavate the wood. The kingdom is Anomalia Philemis, Anthropod class is Insecta, order is Hymnometera, family is Formicida, genus is Campionetus, species is Pensylvanicus. Large cycle of the black carpenter and is egg stage, larva stage, pupa stage, and adult stage. Medical importance of the black carpenter and may bite if 
the filtration or corner. Their bite can cause slight irritation, including redness, swelling, and minor discolor. Next, we move to the discussion. Discussion of the flesh bite, a type of belonging to the sarcophagia. They are known for their habit of laying eggs on decaying organic matter, such as animal carcasses, dung, and open roots. They are found in various habitats worldwide, including urban areas, forests, agricultural fields, importance in decomposition. Flesh bite play a crucial role in the decomposition of organic matter by feeding by decaying materials. Next, we move to the brown hawker. Hulker. The brown hawker, known as Ashna grandis, is a species of the dragonfly belonging to the families of Ashna. The brown hawker is one is very fast of in Europe. The inner habitat the worldwide range is freshwater habitat, such as ponds, lakes, and slow flowing rivers. They prefer areas in abundant, emergent, vegetarian, and open spaces for hunting. They also include small, smaller dragonfly, butterfly, and even bees, predators. Brown hawkers play an important role in controlling population of insects, including mosquitoes and other pets. They contribute to the balance of the ecosystem by regulating insects, population, and acting into indicators of fresh water habitat health. Next, we move to the white mark place mode. It is a mode is native for North America. They usually in variety deciduous trees, such as oak, maple, birch, apple trees, and um, the presence can influence interaction with other organisms. They eat insects and animals. Additionally, the moths themselves are pollinators and contribute to the pollination of the various flowering plant. The art mode is not considered as a species of conservation concern, while its caterpillars can cause diversion and irritation. Their population are typically regulated to natural habits. Next, we move to the grasshopper. Have a distinct body structure. They have no legs, slender bodies with three pairs of the legs. Adapted for jumping, they are high, their hind legs and particularly large and powerful, enabling them to make egg protective covers for the hind legs which are used for flying grasshoppers are herbivorous insects. They help regulate plant population and contribute to nutrient cycling. They are also crucial food source for a wide range of predators, including birds, reptiles, mammals, and other insects. Next, we move to the green bottle fly. The green butterfly is aptal named for the bright metallic green coloration, which is quite deceptive. And also, they are commonly encountered in urban and rural areas as well as natural environment. Green bottle are attracted to strong odors emanating from the decaying organic matters. Acting as pollination in the process, green bottle fly can be considered as a nuisance. They enter homes or buildings in search of food suitable green sites, proper waste management, including sealing garbage containers and maintaining cleanliness can help minimize their presence in human occupied areas. Next, we move to red imported fire ant. It's measuring about two to six millimeters in length. They are reddish brown in color. At the end of abdomen, uh, red imported fire ants are omnivorous, consuming a wide range of food. They are scavenged scavenge on dead animals, including insects, and small vertebrates. They can be predatory preying on the arthropods or small invertebrates. Managing red imported, imported fire and population can be challenging. Next, we move to crane fly. Crane flies are refers to the daddy long legs due to the longer leg, slender legs. They have delicate bodies with wingspan that can range from a few centimeters from several inches. They also serve as prey as spiders, bites, bats, and other insects eating animals. Adult crane flies are relatively harmless and do not possess biting mouth parts. While crane flies are generally harmless, certain species can damage to agriculture crops. The larvae, known as leather jackets, can feed on plant roots, potentially impacting the growth and health of grasses, cereals, and other crops. In some cases, population outbreaks of crane flies can result in lo localized damage and economic losses. 
Next is black spider. Black spider can belong to various species and their appearance or behave, behavior can vary in the skin. Uh, some com common black spiders especially include black widow and the uh, better known species. It's important to note that identifying a spider accurately typically requires closer examination or extra knowledge. Spiders are carnivores, predators that feed the varieties of insects and other small invertebrates. And no venomous bites, which they are used to immobilize the prey. Spiders include black spiders often evokes fear or anxiety in some individuals. It's important to note that most spiders are harmless to humans and their bites are typically defensive rather than aggressive. Lastly is black carpenter and Although some individuals may have dark brown hairs, they are relatively large ants with workers measuring within 6 to 13 millimeters in length. Carpenters and are robust bodies went into three distinct parts, which is head, thorax, and abdomen. They have powerful jaws used to bury stars. Black, black and better ants are with, with this white spear in North America occurring in forests, woodlands, and urban areas. Such as tree, sum, tree stumps, logs, and dead trees. Carpenter ants exhibit galleries and tunnels within the road, which can cause damage to structures if they infest wooden buildings, water furnitures. Carpenter ants play a role in decomposition process of decay, wood, and forests and woodlands. Lastly, for the conclusion, an entomological collection provides valuable insights into the fascinating world in. Insects. Through the careful collection, preservation, and study of various insect specimens, researchers and enthusiasts gain a deeper understanding of insects' biodiversity, behavior, ecology, and their impact on the ecosystem. Entomology collections serve uh, invaluable resources for taxonomic studies, species identification, identifications, and evolutionary researches. They all know they allow scientists to document and catalog the incredible diversity of insect species, aiding in conversation about and the monitoring of the pollution changes over time. So this is the insect that I caught for the assignment too. This is flash fly, brown hacker, white mark desert moon, grasshopper, green bottle fly, red and crane fly, crane fly, zebra spider, and black carpenter and Thank you so much.